for a long time. And now that spring is here, the timing couldn't be more perfect. So for this project, I've teamed up with Craftsman to help me bring the pergola to life. Uh, the first thing that I needed to do here was to dig a couple of holes uh, for the 6x6s six that will hold up the rest of the structure. And I made sure to dig those holes that you know they were going to be wide enough and deep enough to support the completed project. Um, and this is going to be placed right outside the patio uh, behind a small picket fence that separates the patio from the yard. Uh, I just didn't want to take up any uh, of the patio space and, and that's why I'm placing it here. Also, I just didn't have a good way to secure the post if I were to place it directly on the patio or the concrete slab. So uh, that's the reason why I chose to put it here. Now, after I level the post up, and let the concrete cure I could then start on the cross member and all of the support pieces so as I mentioned this project is supported by craftsmen and I'm also using their new cordless 20 volt tools to build this pergola now, it's just nice to carry the tools outside the shop and in into the build location that way I don't have to worry about cords or any, any of that mess so uh, it's really nice having the, these cordless tools just at an arm's reach uh, but speaking of the project between the two main six by six posts uh, is going to be going to be a cross member uh, and from that cross member down to the post are going to be uh, corner braces uh, and I'll drill through these corner braces with a three-eighths of an inch drill bit or as in this case I'm using a what I call a bell hanger it's just a longer uh, drill bit but it's three-eighths of an inch uh, and this is going to allow me to insert uh, the bolts that will secure the support pieces to the main post and the cross member itself uh, and this will secure everything in place after the first corner brace was installed I decided to pre-drill a recess for the washer and nut to sit in and then this just made for a cleaner look after the bolts were installed and also this would just eliminate the risk of someone snagging one of the bolts uh, so the next step was to start on the main overhang structure uh, in order for this to be secure i needed to add more angled braces uh, one from each of the main posts connecting a couple of two by eights which are going to be the main overhang pieces now these two by eights will support adjacent two by sixes and two by twos that will ultimately in the end provide shade. Now, another angled brace on the back of each main post also connecting to the two by eights will act as counterweights to support the overhang. This will all make sense once you see the structure start coming together. Uh, but getting these little corner braces uh, and the bolts in the right location is really an important part of this build because this is a two-legged pergola versus a four-legged pergola so this is a really cool design uh, I have to give credit to several places online I just kind of grabbed different elements from different styles uh, and just kind of made it my own but really excited about this this, this design especially on a small patio uh, like I have and this is gonna fit in a smaller area where you don't have room for four uh, main posts. Now, as you can see, these are the rear support braces acting as counterweights. This is an important part uh, of the overhang. Without these braces in place, uh, the overhang would likely sag over time. Uh, now, once all the braces were in place and secured, I could go ahead and start on the two by sixes. Now each one of these 2x6s would receive a decorative curve cut out on each end to add some visual interest. And the way I went about creating these curves was with a paint stick or a stirring stick. Uh, I measured and marked 1 inch increments and drilled a hole at each measurement. And then I secured the stick with a nail at the zero measurement and used a pencil at any of the other marks uh, whatever your desired curve should be to create a consistent curve I could then cut out. To secure the 2x6s on their edge I cut out notches that would fit over the adjacent 2x8s 
and just nailed them into place and I cut the notches a little bit bigger than I needed to allow for a couple different things number one wood movement and then also just in perfect boards uh, but spacing these evenly across the two by eights gives the pergola a good dose of symmetry which I like um, and at this point I could have just added two by twos instead of the two by sixes and it probably would have turned out okay uh, but I wanted to add a little more of a wow factor to the overall project. And with the 2x6s and the curved cutouts, I think it gives me what I'm looking for. Uh, but there's one more layer to the top. I used my Craftsman battery operated miter saw to cut each of these at each end at a 45 degree angle. And that was just to create uh, some visual interest. Uh, so I would just cut one end, flip it around. And I made sure I was cutting in the right direction because I wanted both angles going uh, in a downward direction on both ends of the pergola. So that was just for, like I said, visual interest. But I placed these evenly across the top of the 2x6s. And I just nailed them directly into the 2x6s through the 2x2s with like a 2-inch brad nail. Uh, and that also gave the whole uh, top or the whole all of the 2x6s that I've already put into place this really just tied everything together and just really secured everything. The final steps here are to sand away the rough areas, stain it, and add a protective finish. And with that, you can pretty much call this pergola complete. So as you can see, we're finished. Uh, I added some outdoor party lights uh, to match the outdoor kitchen area that's a project that i just finished here recently so if you missed that project be sure and check it out uh, if you're interested in learning how to build this pergola for yourself uh, i do have plans available they're listed over on my website i also have a detailed website article where i go into more details and provide more information on how i did everything so all those links are down below be sure and check them out this came out better than I expected um, and just going through the motions here kind of give you a little recap of what went into this um, you know it was very doable DIY I did this by myself I recommend having uh, someone help you but you can do this project this is something that is uh, very rewarding uh, to be able to enjoy outside on your patio uh, so I encourage all of you to check out the website article get the plans and do this project if you're not a subscriber here please subscribe uh, to see more videos hit that little bell to be notified i have some pretty cool projects coming out real soon and as always thanks for watching